Yeah, yeah, it definitely was. Um, last five minutes was interesting, but we started off well um, and then dropped off a bit, made it hard for South at the end, but it's good the boys to come through and stick it. Two tries at the finals day, you can't ask much more, so I'm happy. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a big thing for us going out as a, as a team and going out hard from the off. Um, physicality and intensity has always got to be up there. Um, just a shame we didn't maintain it throughout the game, but yeah, it was, it was something we needed to do. We sat in the change rooms, we go out strong, we beat them with physicality, and we did it in the first 20 minutes. So a lot of it really, I mean, there's several factors that buy into it. As a team, we get on quite well. Um, coaching, when we're training, a lot of the lads are there to train and we listen to what the coach has got to say, um, and just sort of buy into the process really. Yeah, it's good, it's exciting. I mean, it's a big stage, and it? so you do, you, the nerves get to you, but it's, it's good nerves, and you're excited, you want to be it. It's been big, it's been massive, yeah. I mean, um, from every aspect, testing wise and understanding wise, I've got a lot to thank for the Tigers boys because they've done a lot for me. Uh, we started really well, uh, we got into the game well, scored early, um, and then credit to, to Gloucester, they uh, they put us under a bit of pressure at the end of the first half, and it was it was um, we gave away a few penalties, and they got back into the game. Uh, and the second half was uh, was uh, probably the way round. They started like a rocket, and uh, we we struggled to keep up with them. We struggled to. to um, we took it for territory, we, we, we kept doing the same things and um, they were bloody good. They, they really uh, came back at, at us uh, and, uh, and took the game and, um, and put it really close. And then the last five minutes was, uh, was probably everything a final should be. Ball hit the, uh, hit the post twice and, um, and a, lot of, uh, a lot of tension, a lot of pressure and we just about came through it. So very happy, um, very relieved. Um, but credit to, credit to the lads for, for sticking at it and, and credit to Gloucester for, uh, for coming back again and again to, uh, to make it very, very close. It never is an aim to go unbeaten. Um, you, you know, it's a bit of a cliche, but you take each, each game as it comes. And actually, I mean, we're unbeaten in the um, academy programme, but we, we went out to Ireland in the summer when we played two really tough games and, and, and lost. Um, and um, yeah, I suppose it, it, it's nice. Um, and it gets you to the finals and, and it probably gives you confidence going into finals. So that's the main thing. Is it, you, you, you do build a bit of momentum in this competition. And that's where it's really good that the uh, Premiership Academy League is brilliant because you play, you play six games back to back. So you build that momentum. You can, you can go week to week um, pretty much. So uh, that's really good learning for the lads. Just the, the strides they make, the, the amount they take on, the, the, the journey the parents go on as well is, um, is fantastic. And yeah, you set them up for professional rugby if they can do that but you hopefully you set them up for um, the best level, level of rugby they can play and, and, and um, there's hopefully a few sort of life lessons in there a bit of life experience that they can't get at school and they can't get elsewhere uh, hopefully that's where we, we can uh, add value to them um, in their lives yeah.